Hello everyone and welcome back to Pookie Code. Today we're going to look at VS Code which is an awesome code editor we're going to use for Python and for machine learning. I'm going to show how you can set it up for Python and we'll just do like a quick little script to see if everything works. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to install Visual Studio Code so we go on their website. So I'm going to put the link in the description but in short, all you need to do is just search download Visual Studio Code and you'll be in this link right here. Since you're on Windows, I would assume, then you would just click on this big blue Windows button. But if you're on Linux or on Mac, then just select that choice and you just continue with the steps. It should be pretty self-explanatory, I think, because it guides you through everything, so it's really nice. So download Windows right here. And now it says that the download is going to get started, so you just do save file, and hopefully you wait. So, as you can see, it's right here, and if you don't have this feature in your browser, then you can go on your file explorer, go in downloads, and it's the first thing here. So, we have this, I'm going to run it now, and let's hopefully see if it runs. So, come on, come on, okay, so I accept the agreement. I accept the agreement, next, next, next. And these are all options you can put if you want to. So for example, if you wanted to add uh, Visual Studio Code as a option, when you right click on a file in the file explorer, such as this thing, then you can enable this right here with these two things. And you can put a desktop icon if, I don't know, you just like having your applications on your desktop. So I'm just going to put it like this, these three options, as, as well as this one. And we're going to go on next. Next, as you can see, we have all this, and you can just go install. So now, we can wait for the installing. And that's pretty much how to install Visual Studio Code. But the fun thing comes after. So I'm going to show you how you can customize with your extensions and all that. So, just give me a second for that while it loads. Okay, so now it's finished. Now it's actually it finishes, and then it's going to launch Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to say blah blah blah. You're not going to see this prompt, but that's only because I've already used Visual Studio Code before on this computer. So you're first going to start with something, uh, with something like with something like saying with the big icon saying Visual Studio Code. And you won't have the same colors as me. You would probably have, give me a second, You, I, I think this would be what you would have by default. So this should be what it looks like before. And if you do have a file open, it's going to look like this. So to get started using Python, all you need to do is just click on this tab right here. And you can install some extensions you want. The one we want is just called Python. And here, as you can see, I have already have it installed, but just click on installing it and you'll have Python autocomplete in your own files. If you want to have pretty colors like mine, you can go and install the Nord color scheme, color scheme, color scheme, color scheme, color scheme, and then it will download this. And as you can see, this is just so beautiful. So everybody, please convert to the Nord scheme. It will make me very happy. So set color theme, as you can see, it's back to Nord. And that's pretty much all the extensions you'll need in Visual Studio Code. A color scheme, color scheme, as well as a Python autocomplete server. So it's the Python extension I just showed. So let's test if our Python files work. So I'm going to make a new file called test.py. Oh, I used this name too many times. Let's call it main.py. And you should see this, just a blank file with nothing in it. And all you just need to do is just start writing. So let's say print hello world. So just to sh show something, as you can see, when I type, uh, give me a second. We don't want to take any servers, ser any surveys. I can just print hello world. And as you can see, I have all this autocomplete which comes from installing the Python extension. 
So I have this and this just says print to the console hello world and to run it there's this green button right here that you can click so for example I can just click this right here and that's pretty much it. So hello world and everything's working. There it is, we've just seen how to install Visual Studio Code on our own computer as well as how we can run a Python script. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in another video. So bye bye.